kayak loader 2.0 that's right <laughs> <laughs> so we originally did a video on the kayak loader system we made and i will post a link of that video in the description below so you can see the original version but we kind of wanted to take you up on the roof today and show you some improvements we have made so let's take you up there and show you the changes we've made let's do it this is uh the framework i built for the the roller to lower and, and raise the kayak on and um the other video you can see how I how I did this, but uh, what I changed was this roller system and I added this. The original roller was this, I'm not sure what kind of material it was, but it was this super hard plastic and slippery, super slippery, and it was a, a very shallow V. And the kayak hull, as I was lowering it and raising it, would, would kind of drift around on it and that made me a little bit nervous. So I found this, these three rollers, um, and this is real sticky rubber and the kayak as i lower it and raise it it doesn't really even slide at all on this rubber if it does i'm hoping that these would actually help it and also just for some extra protection and to help guide the kayak so it doesn't fall off as i'm loading because once it's up onto a, the roller here and i'm pulling it up i wouldn't want it to slide over and go off so i took some scrap um, aluminum bar stock i had put this um, on this with uh, some nylon washers so this just spins around when we're loading and unloading and then back where it was when we're driving so as as we're pulling the kayak off and on this acts as a guide and stops it from having a big whoops so so far it's been working great we've used it half a dozen times and it's uh it's it definitely a two-person operation and um you know, some strength is involved, but it's not crazy. The last thing I did was when I lower it down, once it reaches a balance point and I re-grabs it and lowers it, um, just knowing that you weren't too far back so it didn't come down this way or too far forward, I made, I put the rope, some rope here and this carabiner goes there. And this just goes on here. And as we lower it, when the kayak gets to the to the ground, when the rope's tight, that's where it should be. And it also helps when I'm loading it because I have to lay it at an angle. And you'll see all this will do it all. When I lay it down at an angle, I have to kind of guess where the stern is, and then I lift up the front and set it on here. And I have to worry about it sliding away where the rope stops that. So, anyway, this sounds complicated, but it's really. I mean, it's just been a process of trial and error and seeing what works better than something else and it's really not i mean we have it every time we do it it's enough. like oh that's actually pretty easy yeah yeah <laughs> sometimes like maybe we need a smaller boat true also but. that but <laughs> let's give it a shot well it's not too bad um yeah. it seems scary it is because when I, I have complete control it's on this balance out there and then when i do this i'm just trying to make sure i have good footing because you know i don't want to fall off uh, i don't want you to fall off but either it's very it feels very safe up there yeah and then i just as soon as i you you touch it it's like okay it's yeah but yeah it's, it's much easier than, than i thought it would be um, one other thing that we got that's an accessory i'd say for this kayak is sometimes we have to park and in this instance today we are parked a little ways away from the boat launch um so yes we can it's, haul this down it's 80 pounds but if we have the dog and a bunch of fishing gear and stuff you know it's 
It's cumbersome it's, is what it is. It's awkward, it's cumbersome. I've been seeing this thing on, on my, uh, you know, the, the Facebook ads for this, uh, I can't remember what it's called. It's, uh, the brand is a Sea Tug, but it's a kayak hauler. It's a little set of wheels. I've been seeing it pop up for like months. I kept thinking about maybe I should do that. And our friends um, have a, the, the Oru canoe. Yeah. And they bought the Sea Tug and they said it works great. And I looked at it. So we ordered one, we got it. Um, I put it together once, I haven't used it yet, so it comes apart like that, and then in some kayaks you can stow it away in your holds or whatever, but yeah, it's just this real light plastic. We still don't know where we're keeping this, right? For now it's in your garage? It fits in, I have a place for it in the garage. Okay, so how's this? Like this. Okay. But first I think you have to put the, the kickstand through. Okay, so you got the kickstand in, now what happens? Now, these kind of snap together. Oh, well, that's easy. I like that it has a kickstand. I don't even know if I'd use this all the time, the strap. Right, yeah, maybe not, right? Let's try and load it, we've not used it before. Right, so I have to experiment to see where under the kayak it goes for okay. the right balance. But I'm just gonna guess kind of in the middle. Okay. Okay, you're only on one of the pads. That's better. There. There we go. Oh, but you're, yeah, the straps. Oh, I think you got it. So it's just running the front of my seat. Okay. Then you just clip this like a seat belt. And we're off and running. Ta da! I think it's a winner. All right, let's get this thing in the water. Let's You're go gonna fishing. do some fishing. I think we're gonna leave Pistol behind for this one because we got we're on a fishing mission, and I am hands free. Look at that. Pretty slick, and we're off. What kind of fish are you aiming for today? Anything that'll bite. How many you got so far, babe? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing yet. And look, I'm in charge of the paddle. That's almost scary. I know. And I'm in charge of not letting us get into the mangroves. Okay, gotta go. Duty calls. Well, he did catch a little, was it a snapper? Yes. Yeah. I believe that's what it was, mangrove snapper. It was, it was little, we didn't keep him. But. This wind is just making it. It's tricky business.
if I'd use this all the time, the strap. Right. Yeah, maybe not. Right. Gotta have it strapped in. <laughs> we learned a lot. <laughs> We've learned a lot. You don't need those straps. Strap it in because you might hit a speed bump or a rock. <laughs> that was funny. Let's try this again. Okay, let's try this shot again. Take two. Take two. There we go. Yay.